Hi, everybody. Uh, we're still doing a background of uh, European geography. And this, in this section, I want to talk about the rivers of Europe. In previous section, I told you that the river contributed much to the European development. And today, I want to talk about the two rivers, two famous rivers in Europe. All these, uh, all these blue letters and blue lines, I hope you guys can see these blue letters and blue lines. It's rather small. All these blue letters and lines, uh, lines are the river connecting the European countries. They have so many. And the one I want to talk about is this Rhine River. This Rhine River is run through this Germany. And, you know, this Rhine River has been working as an important trade route for German, Germany people. So in, ever since the German people produced so much food and surplus, they begin they exchange begin exchanging the resources, food and people throughout this Rhine, uh, Rhine River. So this Rhine contributed so much to the development of Germany. And we have uh, another river is a called a Danube River. Danube River is the second longest river in Europe. And Danube River begins from the Black Ocean, Black Sea, and it runs through entire European countries and it goes to the Germany and connects to the Atlantic Ocean. So this river runs through 10 European countries connecting people and places with, with each other. So using this huge river, European people get to exchange food and human resources and not only inside the trade, but also using the Atlantic Ocean at the end of the year, you can go to other European countries like Britain, you can go to even United States, and you can go to Africa and Asia. So this Danube River contributed so much so that uh, the European country overall can uh, develop further and before than other continents. And not only, like I told you before in previous section, not all European countries are rich. There is some gap between Northern Europe and Southern Europe. And there are some reason why Northern Europe is more rich than the Southern Europe is because they have, in Northern Europe, they have much more huge land. Okay. In Northern, in Southern Europe, they have huge land compared to other continents like Asia or Africa or North America. But when we compare only the North and South European countries, North European countries have more huge land than the southern countries, so they have more space, which means they, they can produce more. And also, second reason, some, some scholars, they argue that the religion, religion worked against uh, southern area of the European country, which means that in northern part of Europe, we have more Protestant as a religion. And in southern, we have a Catholicism in southern Europe, and in, in theory, in religious theory, Catholicism, they put more values, they put more emphasis on the afterlife. So they don't really uh, think that uh, developing the industry is important. They don't want to make, they don't want to only like care about the money making process. No, they put more value into a spiritual peace and they put more value into our uh, afterday life. So ever. Whereas the Protestant, which are influencing heavily onto the northern part of the Europe, Protestant is more practical. So they, they teach people to work hard and they of course have to have a faith in the God. But this Protestantism, they put more emphasis on, on our secular life at the same time. So some scholars argue that from this protest, Protestantism idea helped more of the Northern Europe become further than the Southern Europe. But it's not a problem theory. It's just a, one of the reason, one of the argumentation of some scholars, because there are some other, there are some examples of this, uh, of this Germany here. In Germany, we have Bavarian area. Bavarian. This is the name of the area where a famous BMW or like Allianz and all the famous multinational companies are have headquarters in German Bavarian area. And Germany are heavily influenced by uh, Catholicism, but they still develop so much industry, so much uh, businesses, so much multinational companies in German uh, Bavarian area. So we cannot say that the uh, religion is entirely like 
uh, the reason why it is uh, Southern Europe is less developed and, and Northern Europe is more developed because there is no proof of it. So today's point was how this river contributed the development of Europe. Okay? Thank you. Bye.